get lost inside my thoughts And when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard, but all these scars They cut so deep, I bleed I fell so fast from heaven It's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling And I can't see the ground Can we stop this gravity? seeing Korea. I am at Hyundai Motor Studio, Ilsan, and this is Genesis GV80. As you can see, a lot of crowd has gathered to check out this latest and first SUV model from Genesis. And given its weekday, there's a lot of people gathered around to check out this Genesis. We have four different models in front of us in, in varying colors such as black and white and gray and some of the unique color that Genesis introduced for the first time. This is inside or the rear portion of five-seater GV80. Obviously I'll show you in a bit but the seats, the third row seats have been deleted or not necessarily deleted or it has not been added so the entire trunk is wide open for trunk usage and I've included those once those uh, second row seats are folded all the way down it provides a humongous trunk space which is fully usable and also one of the best part is that they have these options right here as well as a 12 volt outlet for your uh, multiple uses and purposes. And there's a lot of um, finest paying attention to the details, such as these hooks and also the lights, because during the nighttime, you don't have those lights or the search lights on the trunk. It's a pain in the butt to go through your storage stuff in the compartments. And as you can see over here, this is the 22 inch wheels, alloy wheels, and currently it's equipped with 265, 40, 22, all around. So they're currently running the uh, square setup on this uh, wheels, and uh, well that's a smart choice because, you know, unifying into a one single size for the entire car, it's always the safest bet and easiest uh, option for the owners. The only thing that people have been pointing out is that compared to its big size of 22 alloy wheels, the rotors are small and the brake calipers seem to be very tiny, but that's all because of its um, fooling your eyes. The biggest SUV that Hyundai had thus far is a Palisade, and Palisade had 21 inch. So 22 inch, never seen before in the history of Korean OEM brands, and here we are. And also, in March, uh, GV80 will come in the variants with the gasoline model being the 3.0 and 3.5 turbo. It could be 2.5 and 3.0, I gotta double check on that. But that model is going to have four piston calipers. Genesis has an experience with Brembo, so I am hoping that it will be Brembo. And also the size of the rotors is bigger than that of the uh, BMW X5. So keep that in mind and it's all because of the size of the alloy wheel being just humongous but the rotors and brakes they serve the purpose and another thing that guru over here have been pointing out is the suspension setup this gv80 has it's the double wishbone and some multi-links on the front of these uh, gv80 and flip it backwards that's what you have all the way back there they're using a good mixture of uh, double wishbones and multi-links to provide the best comfort and the riding quality. And unfortunately, this is not the air suspension 
but rather just the conventional coilovers that we have on the cars. But they've added in this feature with the camera and also the top notch intelligence system that enables uh, for you to read uh, the road conditions which change changes accordingly to the road conditions and one of the examples that they brought up is the uh, the speed bump so this gv80 will recognize the speed bumps ahead of it and will best give the inputs towards the suspension so that will uh, drivers and also the passengers within will get the best quality ride comfort comfortable and with this latest top-notch radar system GV80 introduces the generation 2.5 of sense self-intelligent riding which is the first in its class and also the Genesis brand in total and the EQ900 is still sitting at the level 2.0 whereas this GV80 is sitting at 2.5 one of the big features notable to this Genesis GV80 is that the four-wheel drive, but I'm not talking about just the four-wheel drive alone, but it's the, it's the ELSD that's been integrated to this model for the first time as a, on a rear-wheel drive. This GV80 is uh, specifically based on a rear-wheel drive platform, which pushes uh, it's the rest of the energy towards the front, making it it's a four-wheel drive as a record that they have integrated the ELSD towards the end, making it uh, from the data that they've accumulated from the Veloster ends. And uh, for those uh, that have already tested out the ELSD for themselves, they know for sure it's a uh, game changer. That's what the Veloster end makes it all different. It's all due to the help of the uh, ELSD. That being said, um, because it's a real wheel drive based four wheel driver, it could push its power all the way to the rear in 100% unlike the conventional four-wheel drivers. And also having said that, it could push its power towards the front all the way up to 90%. So the ratio wise is 9 to 1. And putting on the full force on the rear, it could be 100 and 0. And the balance between the front and the rear always shifts around. So going into the cockpit, of the Genesis GV80, immediately noticed this wood trim inside along with the top-notch quality leather and this is the Napa leather that they put in and what you see inside of this GV80 is the full option like fully equipped options with everything on it and let's just uh, push back the seat a little bit which is all located here fully automated and they've also integrated this um, soft closing door which seem to be a must on a uh, luxurious cars and sedans nowadays some of the controllers and jog shuttle they've also Genesis made a big emphasis that they've worked very hard on this um, specific infotainment system which is all in integrated with from the jock shuttle here and also the cockpit and also the infotainment system over there and um, when you pull on a navigation and when it's actually driving it will actually split the screen into three sections and one of them which is showing a, uh, a virtual reality navigation map and uh, right now all the doors are shut closed and I can immediately see a big difference in its uh, noise cancellation it's really quiet inside with all the doors shut almost as if I can barely hear anything from the outside. GV80 made a strong emphasis that they've implied a double thickness glass inside out. That's been implied throughout the car, entire car, except for the V-quarter on the back. So that being said, so this is the typical moon roof or the, the panoramic roof that we've been seeing here and there uh, exactly the same one as that of a palisade and the rear seats are fully controllable like so uh, with a push of a button the second row will fold and unfold all the way up and down automatically and most are based on touch and it gives me some like the vib vibration feedback 
so I know that what I've touched but most some of the buttons are here buttons all around like so are physical like the actual physical buttons so you could actually feel and also get direct feedback from while you're driving and I think that's really a must steering wheel and there's a lot of uh, speculations and ideas and rumors or stories behind these wheels but the shape wise I mean if you look at this in person it's not all that bad uh, the honk I think it's very uh, responsive I'm not gonna do that here but and also these keys that are here and also one of the things that they've uh, said uh, that they have put a lot of effort in is this voice recognition system probably it's currently put on the Korean um, navigate so it's not understanding what I am saying probably <laughs> but it's very responsive and I am pretty sure you can change that, that into English so let's just cancel that once it's been cancelled it shows you the front of the car with a camera and the gauge clusters I'm not going to have all the time in the world to play around with this but But it's going to get popped up like so. And this is the inside of GV80. Oh, and that's as high as it it gets. I thought it would get higher, but not so much. And many of the Genesis representative have emphasized that they try to a very big effort in pushing in the engine inwards. And uh, as you can see, this is the inline uh, turbo six and diesel model. And you can, if you look from the side of the car, like so, that's where the wheel seat sits. And the engine that's sitting in front of the front wheel base is significantly less than that of what's sitting on the rear of the car. So Genesis, it's obvious that they have uh, tried very hard in pushing and making its effort towards pushing the engine back for better riding quality and responsiveness on your steering wheels and some of the strut bars here to reinforce the cars and the funny thing is the angle where the strut bars are sitting right now instead of it having the very diagonal shape it's almost nearly horizontal and also they threw in the heater protection cover here for better performance like definitely if you look close up here there is a lot of very fine attention to the detail this Genesis GV80 has